Hey, what's up guys, Second Curb over here back again with another Modern Minecraft tutorial. Oh yeah, so today's topic, one of the biggest machines I've ever covered, the Arc Furnace from Immersive Engineering. Now this is a very, very big multi-block. In vanilla Immersive Engineering, this is one of the biggest ones that you will build. This is, this is really useful though, because it takes power and it can, it, it could do like a bunch of smelting, it, so it can, so the arc furnace can smelt, it can alloy smelt with certain mods, it can even recycle some, it can even recycle, it can even do recycling. So we just show some recipes, you can, you can actually, so you can make electrical steel, energetic alloy, yeah, so you can, you can basically, it has, it has like integration with Ender IO. You can also make aluminum brass, manulin, you can also double ores in this thing without having to use the crusher. So that's nice. It's not very useful when using uh, when using it for draconium, though. This can also be used as uh, this can also be used as a blast furnace for anything that requires sand uh, to be uh, processed in it. So if you need so if you need to make endurium, just put it in here, and you and you got uh, you got an endurium ingot without having to use sand. Same for flux electrum. But anyway, you can also use this for recycling. So, uh, so if you're getting a bunch of, uh, if you're getting a bunch of like tools or armor uh, that uh, like out of chests in the world, you can put it in the arc furnace and get some of those metals back. It works. It works for most things. It doesn't work for some things, however. But besides the point, to power the arc furnace, you're going to need to uh, connect power to the uh, to these power connectors in the back. Luckily, Draconic Evolution helps with that. So let's get my crystal binder. Uh, you cannot link a device. To okay, I didn't know it was connected. So yeah, once I link that there, then this thing has power and I can do stuff in here. So let's say I wanna make some steel. Steel ingot. So if you wanna make steel in the arc furnace, you're gonna need iron and cold, uh, iron and coke dust. And it takes 20 seconds at 512 RF a tick. So you're going to need a steady amount of power if you want to use this thing. And you can do multiples. Uh, you can do multiples at once. The only problem is that it takes more power. So let's get some iron. Iron ingot. And distribute. I mean that that work. Uh, that kind of works. Coke dust, and there you go. So you can have 12 processes going at once in this thing, which is very nice when you're trying to do this stuff. So the most important thing about the arc furnace, you're going to need graphite electrodes in order for them to work. The only way you can craft graphite electrodes, well, I mean, there's a couple of ways, but this, uh, but so you need four hop graphite ingots. You can either put it in the metal press with a metal press, uh, with a rod and metal press mold, but that'll only give you 50% integrity. Or you can make it in the engineer's workbench with four hop graphite ingots and the arc furnace electrodes blueprint. I, as far as I know, you can only get this from trading with machinist villagers. All right, so you can put up to three of these in there and they can be enchanted with unbreaking three. Let's do that really quickly. So you can put it on all three of these at once, and it costs 40 levels to do so, but uh, it's worth it because these will last a while. So you put them in the top here. This will start draining the power to do all of this. And fortunately, like uh, like I said, you can do uh, you can do all of these at the same time, and it'll take less time. So uh, so once this is done processing, it'll uh, it'll spit the steel in this slot here and then slag in this spot. Slag isn't used every single time. If you're um if yeah, slag isn't used every single time. So if you're if you're making if you're making steel or if you if you're using the blast furnace part of it, then yeah, it'll make slag. But otherwise uh, otherwise it won't produce slag. The uh, the main outputs will come out the front here while the slag will come out the back here. So if we want to build the arc furnace, this is what it looks like. So stop, no. <sighs> okay, hold on, there we go, stop. There you go. So this is what the final product looks like. 
There's also uh, there is also a paste bin code uh, on the subreddit r slash nine by nine, so you can paste it in with uh, Die Roll Twenty's building gadgets mod. So, in t but if you want to build this in total, you're going to need a cauldron, fourteen steel s sheet metal slabs, eight steel sheet metal, six blocks of steel, five steel scaffolding, a redstone engineering block, ten light engineering blocks, five heavy engineering blocks, and twenty seven reinforced blast bricks. That's a lot of stuff. And I'm not going to go through all those recipes, so you, you guys can look that up. Also, also, some of these recipes may be different depending on the pack you're playing, but uh, but in a uh, in a kitchen sink pack, it, they're pretty consistent. Oh man, yeah this this is a really big uh, this is a really big block. Like uh, like again, it is probably one of the biggest blocks that you will ever make in immersive engineering if you decide to go for it. Because I mean, yeah, this is huge. So so yeah, graphite electrodes need to come in. But here's the issue. You can't you can't automate placing graphite electrodes in here. So if the if the graphite electrodes break, you have to you have to replace them yourself. So otherwise, you can pipe inputs into the top here. Like I mentioned before, the power goes into the back. This is the only place the uh, this is the only place power is able to come in. So uh, so I mean the the draconic wireless uh, energy crystal definitely helpful for getting power back here. Slag comes out the back and main outputs come out the front. So if you want to see that it's chest, it goes slowly, but it's it's basically hopper speed. And then and then back here, let's do a drawer because why not? And the slag comes out faster. So yeah, if you want to, uh, so uh, so if you want to quickly get items out, that is your best way. Just put an inventory in front of it, and then pipe it into your uh, pipe it into your storage system, like like your refined storage system, your applied energetic system, whichever one you want. But yeah, and then there is also this, and uh, there's also this part on the front here. This allows you to turn it off with a redstone signal. So let's get a lever. Lever check and let's also get uh let's, go, let's also get a few iron swords so that way i can demonstrate to you that it works so there we go and it just stops as soon as you flip the lever so yeah if you if you don't want this thing running just flip this uh, just put a redstone signal on the front there and you're good Alrighty guys, I think that'll do it for this quick little Minecraft tutorial on the Arc Furnace from Immersive Engineering. I hope you guys enjoyed learning about something in a mod that I have not covered yet on in this series. If you guys want to see more Immersive Engineering tutorials, let me know, leave me a comment, and I will uh, I will let you uh, I will do a tutorial on what you suggest. Also, if you want to suggest something else for me, let me know what you want to see. Post it in the comments, tweet it at me, do whatever you want. Anyway, that'll do it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Later.